A string of incidents involving flashy sports cars has drawn criticism to Asia's elite. Last month, the grandson of the billionaire founder of Red Bull, the popular energy drink, was arrested for running over a motorcycle cop with his Ferrari. According to witnesses, Vorayuth Vividya, who comes from one of the richest families in Thailand, dragged the motorcycle and the policeman down the street before speeding away from the scene. The incident has lit Thailand's social media on fire. Here's our contributor in Bangkok, Ying Panyapon. What triggered floods of angry comments in social media is that the 27-year-old Vorayuth Vividya initially tried to make the family's chauffeur take the blame this user on the web forum Pantip said, It is horrible enough that he hit and ran. Worse, he dragged the body for blocks. She went on to condemn the attempt to blame the driver for the accident and she ended. Some people have no morality at all. They care only for money. One commentator in the Bangkok Post wrote, A common citizen accused of the same hit and run crime would have been jailed already. But the Red Bull heir is still a free man. On September 25th, the Yu Wittia family paid $97,000 to the policeman family to avoid a civil suit. A headline in a well-known local newspaper manager read, Are rich people accused of hit and run liable to arrest? Jail is only for poor people. One of the commenters on Pantip called for a boycott of Red Bull. He wrote, I'm asking everyone to stop drinking it for 100 days to pay respect to the dead policeman. How can the cost of repairing a Ferrari be higher than the price of one life? Vorayudyu Vitya is facing charges of reckless driving leading to death, fleeing the scene to avoid arrest and likely drunk driving. But many don't believe he will face serious jail time. His family worth an estimated five and a half billion dollars, and Thailand's rich and powerful have ways of avoiding punishment. Media users point to a similar case in 2010. An underage driver from a wealthy family rammed into a minibus, killing nine people. She only got suspended sentence. For Link Asia, I'm Ying Panyapon in Bangkok. Another incident involving a sports car occurred earlier this year in Beijing. A black Ferrari driven by a young Chinese playboy and carrying two skimpily clad women crashed on an expressway, killing the driver. It turns out he was a son of an influential member of the Communist Party. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World News, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.